Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. And if it's your first time, I hope you like what you see and subscribe. Time for another catch and cook video. And today we're gonna to be doing up a fish chowder with some striped bass that we caught this spring in the Miramichi River. Oh. I got one. First one of the season, guys. Now that's what we call fish. Now, if you've been following the channel, you probably saw those videos before, but if you haven't, I'll include the links below in the description. So check those out. Now let's get to the chowder. So this fish chowder is a pretty simple recipe. Some of the ingredients we'll be using today are throwing in some shrimp, a little bit of striped bass, cream style corn, that adds a little bit of sweetness to it, some potatoes, carrots, and onions, some milk, seasoning to taste with the salt and pepper, and a little bit of bacon as well. First ingredient we wanna get going is some bacon. Pans on a medium heat. Just throw a few slices in there. Next are the onions. Once the bacon and onions are done, it's time to add the carrots, potatoes, and I like to dice them up so that they're about bite size, then cover them with water and cook until they're soft. Now this is our striped bass. Some people prefer to remove the darker meat because it is a little bit stronger tasting. That's up to you. And last but not least, some cream of corn that will thicken and sweeten the chowder. Some shrimp. The striper. bit of milk and season to taste. Now cover and let simmer for about 30 minutes. If you're interested in chasing some stripers, a guy that I would highly recommend is Norman Ward who goes by NW Bassman on the New NewBrunswickFishing.com website. Just send him a private message and he'll touch base. Norman lives on the Miramichi River and I believe he also offers trips for trout and Atlantic salmon. So check him out, it's money well spent. And there we are guys, an awesome bowl of fish chowder. Now get out there and enjoy the great outdoors.